Hey, how's it going, everybody? Okay, what I got today is a Samson, S A M S O N, just like the uh, cheap microphones that you can get, recording equipment stuff. Uh, this is a Samson Mini Boom mic stand. So, this is um, pretty much a little boom microphone, just like you would use if you were playing guitar on a stage or whatever. But this one's a tiny one. Um, it is mainly used for miking a uh, drum, uh, uh, like the, the kick drum or something like that. You may mic it uh, or use it to mic the snare, maybe the hi-hat, uh, something like that. Um, so again, it's, it's, it's pretty short. Um, we, our band had them for five, six years. Um, we had a number of them. We, we mic'd our, our kick drum. Um, if we wanted to, we mic the hi-hat from the bottom. Um, and then again, we would use it for uh, amp uh, amplifiers. We'd mic our guitar amps. So uh, these work perfect for that. They kind of stay out of the way. The, the pace of this thing is, is weighted, so it works real well. The, uh, the shaft actually threads into the base, so there's thread, threads on the shaft itself. And again, it, uh, it does work pretty good for, for miking amps too, because it, it can hold the weight of those, those big, like the kick drum mics. Some of those things are pretty big, and it holds that weight really well. So um, again, this thing is a Samson Mini Boom mic stand. It has a weight of six and a half pounds just by itself. Uh, it is the height from the base to the top of the boom uh, just sitting here on the table. So if the, the boom is flat, in other words, if it's like this, then from the, the base to the, uh, the top of the boom is 16 inches. If you extend the top one, so in other words, uh, it extends this way. If you extend that, then it is 21 inches. The boom length itself is 17 inches collapsed. And then, so this is the boom collapsed. Let me tighten this down. This is the boom collapsed. And then you can take this and extend it out. So then if you do that, then it is 30 inches. So this, not, not only does this one slide in and out of here, but that one slides in like that. So it can extend out to 30, 30 inches completely open. Um, and again, so it'll, it'll, you can do pretty good with that. Um, it, it gets out there. And then again, this folds up and down so you can extend it up like this and have a fairly tall, not very, but um, if you extend it up that way, it will extend to 43 inches. So that means your, your microphone adapter would be at 43 inches from the floor. So um, the base sits at about 10 to 12 inches in diameter. Um, that's about how much floor space it would take up, uh, footage, whatever you want to call it. These again are very, very heavy duty. Um, out of the ones that we used for five or six years with the band, we had one of them that right here at the base, um, the tube of the shaft kind of broke the, where the threads go in. Now keep in mind, um, we were gigging uh, three to four times a month. Um, we kept all our gear in a trailer. We had another setup of everything that we used at a at a shop that where we uh, do our rehearsals and stuff at. So. Um, carrying these things in and out of bars, you know, three and four times a month, you're going to drop some things. Uh, we had some, some people that were helping us carry our gear and stuff that, that weren't real savvy with equipment and, and how sensitive it can be. So, um, luckily all we, all we lost because of that, I think was, uh, maybe, uh, a light stand or something or a speaker stand. I think maybe I can't remember. And, and one of these. Um, I, I gave it to a friend and I ended up giving it to him. He, he was a welder, so he just did some, some stuff to it and worked on it. I don't know if he actually welded anything or not, but I think he actually uh, tapped some or dyed whatever, some threads back on the pole and then threaded it back into the base. And he's still using it. So uh, that was five years ago. So our band broke up over five years ago. And uh, so he's still using it. And I've had two of these in my studio. Um, this one I actually just got. So I've had one in my studio that I've been using for the last four years, four or five years. And I just bought a second one because um, I'm doing a little bit more acoustic guitar stuff. So um, that way I can I can have a little bit more spread. I've got one of the, the uh, uh, adjustable rods or whatever that you can actually put to... Um, uh, two condenser microphones, like the little pencil condenser mics, you can put two of those on there and record a stereo match pair guitar. But it's not wide enough in some cases, especially if you if you're if you wanted to get it a little bit further away from the guitar. So if if you're 
If you're 18 inches away from the guitar, then you need to have the spread at least twice that, a minimum of twice that. So um, this, this thing was maybe, uh, I think maybe 20 inches long. So you're not gonna get that spread with that. So I decided to get a second one so I could move it a little bit further apart and have my two microphones have a better stereo pair. One at maybe the, the 10th fret or something like that. And then one at the back by the bridge. So it does make a difference. Um, again, these are really good stands. They're very heavy duty. They've got enough weight to them to where they can hold a large diaphragm condenser microphone completely extended with absolutely no problem. Um, if, you, if you're worried about the cable or whatever, then you might want to tie that up and that helps it balance a little bit better and everything. But still, it's, it's just common sense on there. So um, it, these, th these things work really good. It does have plastic uh, parts where the, the screws to tighten it down and everything are. Um, but instead of... Instead of a screw going into the pole or whatever, like where the threads are at, just going into a pole and, and kind of cutting into it to pinch it down, it actually um, has a plastic piece inside there. So you're screwing that plastic piece up against the pole. So it pinches it that way instead of having just that little bit like of a quarter inch bolt going into the side of a, of a pole, which can actually cut into it and sooner or later dent it, maybe break it. So it it weakens it, but using the plastic pieces to actually pinch them together, it, it works a lot better. So um, for the uh, for the, the pivot point of the head, it does not have teeth in it. It just squeezes the two and clamps them together. Um, I, I've had a couple times where uh, with the heavier kick drum mic, um, halfway through a gig, it has kind of started to sag a little bit. Um, mainly because, our, again, our tech guys didn't know that much about it, so they didn't tighten it down enough. If you tighten that thing down enough, it's not gonna move, um, but you do have to put some force into it. The older it gets, of course, the less likely it is to, to stay the way it is. Um, what we have determined is a better way to do it if you're doing stuff like that. Since I'm just doing pencil condenser mics now, I don't have to worry about that. But if you're gigging with them a lot and using them a lot and putting a lot of weight on them, it's a good deal to take them apart and get a, like a, a, a a hacksaw blade or maybe a file and kind of cut some teeth into them. That way it's got something to kind of give it a little bit of friction um, so that it doesn't slip so easily. So that's an option that you can do if you want to. Um, again, it's, it's going to take your warranty out or whatever, but these are, oh, $28, I believe. And you can get them either on Amazon, on eBay. Um, I believe Musician's Friend has these or Z Sounds or... Sweetwater, I'm not sure. Um, they may all have them, I'm not sure. But anyways, these are definitely go-to for instrument miking. So if you need something that needs to, if you have an instrument that needs to be mic'd at, at a lower level then you know, or if you maybe if you have just a really short person that you would like to mic also, it's a good way to go. So if you got a little bitty kid that's playing a ukulele, this will do that, it will take care of that. And at only $28 and it's compact, it'll move out of the way. The good thing about it is too, if you want to put them in cases or whatever, you can you can take these apart. Um, this comes off, this piece comes off of the top. Um, uh, the, the, uh, the, the boom pole does not come out. So that's the only part that will not come off, but still, um, that's enough. If you want to put that in a case or something, you can easily do that. The base is going to be the only exception where it's going to be kind of hard to stick that in a case and, and carry it around because if you have four or five of those, they're going to be kind of heavy. Um, we had, again, we mic'd three guitars and then one kick drum. So we had four that travel around with us everywhere we went. So pretty heavy duty. We liked them. Um, I think you'll like them too. Um, let me know. Oh, also I forgot to mention this little nubby thing right here does have some weight to it. So it does help balance with a eh, somewhat heavy microphone. I wouldn't say this is that heavy, but it does help balance it a little bit. So Keep that in mind, um, if, but you have to extend it out in order for the balance to work. So you have to have one piece of weight on the opposite side of the other one. So if, you, if you're if you booming it all the way out, this weight is not gonna help you hardly any at all because it's gonna be right at the pole. So keep that in mind. Physics 101, 202, whatever, I don't know. But anyways, um, if you have any comments or concerns, please leave them in the comment section. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe, and um, we'll see you on the next time. Thanks, bye.